Hey guys, welcome. It's week 13 of Super Rugby and we're almost <laughs> at the June break and there's a lot of movement moving going along in the logs as well. A lot to talk about, but let's get ready with this week's predictions. The one that threw me was the force and well done Dave Vessels uh, uh, for winning in Buenos Aires. I didn't think it was possible, but well done. Let's get right into this week's one. I think the first game is going to be the most important in terms of the New Zealand Conference. The Chiefs against the Crusaders. I don't think the Chiefs can do can stop the Crusaders in such good form. I see them winning another game. I don't. It's tough. I think there's always a chance in the New Zealand derby, but I say Crusaders by seven. Okay, so. Next one up, Stormers against the Blues. I think the Blues have been building well. They're getting a couple of victories. They've got momentum now. They're going to be really tough to, to beat. But in South Africa, at Newlands, the Stormers should be winning. The Stormers really came out stuck from their loss against the Lions at Newlands and went downhill on the tour. So can they get back to winning ways? I believe they can. I know people think I'm nuts. and but uh, <laughs> So what? I think the Stormers are going to win this week. And I'm giving this one to the Stormers by 10. I think we're going to see a big performance at Newlands from Robbie Flexty. The poor Cheetahs, they move now to Wellington to face the Hurricanes, still licking their wounds from being beaten by the Crusaders. To me, I feel for Franco's team, if you're not going to tackle, you're not going to get a chance to win a game. And I think that's been the whole season their problem as well. I know a lot of emphasis this week, but I don't see it happening. With the Barrett brothers shut down by the Crusaders, I see they, them coming out. I see that game going to the Hurricanes by 50. Maybe I'm too conservative, maybe more. But let's keep it 50. Let's hope it's this, and I'll be very happy to be wrong. So the force, all victorious in, 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 in Buenos Aires, return home to face the Highlanders. Highlanders have won seven in a row. This is going to be a tough clash for them, though. Both teams tend to shut you down a lot, so I think it's going to be tough. I think just on history and backing all the New Zealand teams against the Australian teams, I'm going to give this one to the Highlanders. Uh, it's going to be three to four points. In Singapore, Sunwolves Sharks, uh, that game, the humidity factor in Singapore is always a factor. Uh, it becomes a big thing for South African teams and they struggle there. Sunwolves will be fresh from you know, putting up a good performance in Buenos Aires. They'll, they'll back themselves and they're going to give the Sharks a hard time. The Sharks should be able to put it through. Their pack gets on top, they should be able to do it, but Saying that, the Sunwolves are going to give them a tough time. So I reckon it's not going to be a great game to watch for Sharks fans. I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope they turn it on. I hope they really show us what they're worth. But I see them winning by five to six points there in Singapore. The big game in South Africa will be the three o'clock game at Emirates Airline Park on Saturday. It'll be the, uh, the Bulls and, and the Lions there. And the Bulls have done better. I think they're going to play a young team. You're going to see Tony Yankees going up against his brother probably at some point in the game. And, you know, but I think the Lions are playing too well. I think the Bulls will put up a good fight though. But I see this going to the Lions by 10. I see them hard to be stopped at home, especially now that they could play in top spot. Big test of the week, and of course, is, is everyone's favorite new team, the Kings. Long live the Kings. Anyway, I was very impressed by what they did against the Sharks. Can they do it a couple of weeks in a row against the Brumbies this weekend? The Brumbies are going to be a tough team. They shut you down. They like to smother you. Look how the Lions struggled against them. They're really a tough team to play. But I think the exuberance and the momentum and all the good feeling against for the Kings at the moment should give that one to them. So I'm going to say the Kings by five. And rounding up the weekend is a Sunday game, which not many people are going to worry too much about in South Africa. The Waratahs against the Rebels. The Rebels are doing well. They can win this game. The Waratahs just come back on their feet. It's going to be a close game, but I reckon with the Waratahs being at home, they should shade it. Uh, I'm scared to write for the Rebels. Uh, I think they, they're playing better and better. In Australian games, they always have a chance. I think the Waratahs probably will take it this one, but I uh, don't reckon it's going to be a great game to watch either. Uh, five points to the Waratahs, and let's hope I'm not wrong. Right. 
that's it for this week guys tell me what you think let me know i'm really enjoying the comments thanks to everybody who's commenting below uh press the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and press conference stuff as well and some stuff from the teams as we stumble upon them and then uh, leave your comments tell me who you picked who you don't agree with my selections i quite enjoy seeing that on uh, yeah you know, this is a game where you can be right and you can be wrong so leave a comment down below and uh, yeah let's see what happens this week thanks for watching